recording? Yeah. Okay. Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, uh, I do... <laughs> Hello there, everyone. Good morning, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you're new here, um, my name is Poya, and I do diving-related uh, videos, as well as some random stuff, generally. Uh, today's video is going to be a little bit of a boat review. Now, this boat behind me has uh, recently been uh, given a full refurb, so I thought it would be interesting to just show you a little bit around and take it for a little uh, test drive later on uh, to see what, what we think about it. I've actually driven it only once uh, since it's been back from the refurb, so it'd be interesting to uh, drive it a little bit more and uh, see, uh, see what we think. I have my colleague Radu with me behind the camera, um, who's going to be driving it as well, so we can uh, have a little discussion later on. Now the boat is actually, uh, there's no dive uh, equipment on it, unlike the, the boat that I used previously on, uh, on our video. Uh, for example, that dive boat behind us, you can see the dive equipment on it. Um, whereas this boat uh, is going to be purely for the ROV use, which is, if you don't know what ROVs are, it's the remotely operated vehicles, which we use uh, quite often really uh, for inspection work. Um, now this boat is, uh, is quite, quite light comparing to um, the other one. Uh, it's both smaller and of course lighter uh, because of the lack of the dive equipment. Okay, now as you can see, no dive equipment in the back, which is actually quite a nice deck space to work on. And we have the ROV hidden away, keeping nice and warm inside here. Uh, so we have a little blue ROV and we have the main uh, big ROV, Argus. Uh, now the way this uh, ROV is actually launched is we have these rails uh, that uh, basically get set up on the deck and then we can kind of roll out the ROV out and then we use the crane to launch it out in the water. Uh, we have the engines here, which actually I'm gonna check out the engines, uh, check the oil before we start the test drive. Uh, and also show you the show you the engine room. So I'll just grab it. Okay, so we need this little key. There we go. So we have two Volvo Penta D6 330 engines. Now, these engines were actually already on the boat uh, before the refurbishment, so they're not uh, quite new, uh, relatively new. They are each putting out 330 horsepower. Uh, very reliable and well-known engines for these type of boats. Now, of course, as we're starting to check the oil, it's raining. So I'm just gonna quickly check the fluid, the oil and the belts before every time we use the boat. Okay, now with the reduced weight of this boat, uh, I think the, the weight of the boat is uh, roughly about nine tons. Uh, so it's, it's much faster than uh, it used to be. So I'm actually quite excited about uh, driving it and uh, getting a little bit more feel of it really. Inside here, we have, I'm just gonna close this up. Now inside here, we have a generator on board to use uh, to produce power, of course, for operating the ROV and also uh, the boat when we're not uh, driving it. Nice and compact. This boat actually didn't have a have a generator before, so it's a uh, it's a nice uh, nice luxury to have to have the generator on board now. Now I'm just gonna take you around on the inside and show you what's going on inside the, the wheelhouse. Let's put this back. Come on board with me. Okay, so it's quite a small, uh, cozy space. Uh, this boat, like I said, is going to be an ROV team. So most of the times there will be only two people working on in, in this boat. So I personally think it's a nice, decent space. Obviously, we have the ROV panel. Uh, where we have the screens and the controls where we can control the ROV. 
Uh, so this seat is going to be for the ROV pilot. And in the front, we have the driving side, of course, the co-pilot. And uh, down here, we have just a little uh, galley lounge area, really. It's quite tiny, but now we have a fridge inside, which I'm quite excited about. Microwave, again, this boat didn't have any of these before, so it's gonna be really nice. Um, also, it's probably my favorite thing about this boat, is the cutest, tiniest toilet in the world, uh, <laughs> which I really hope we never have to use, unless it's a life and death kind of uh, situation, and we're still not gonna use it then. Uh, so yeah, it's quite nice and cozy. We can uh, sit down and enjoy a, enjoy a cup of coffee. test drive uh, just to uh, show you a little bit how it's like driving it really um, like I said it's uh, much lighter than it used to be uh, so I'm actually quite excited for the for the speed and uh, stability it is a uh, it is a very stable boat at least it used to be a very stable boat uh, for any kind of bad weather or, or anything like that so as a really solid hull Okay, now what I do is just to release the rope. We have the navigation lights on. Okay, so welcome on board. We are off. So we're just gonna warm up the engines a little bit before we give it a give it a little bit of power. Um, it's, it should be quite fast. Cruising speed, I think, is uh, roughly around 30 knots kind of area, right? 27, I heard. 27, okay. But uh, we're gonna get it up to 30 uh, just to see how it feels. Um, the engines are just warming up nicely, uh, and uh, yeah. I've only driven this boat actually once since it's been back and it was, uh, yeah, it's really, really nice and uh, solid kind of thing. Also, as you can say, it's a great visibility outside. Um, so you have a really nice view of uh, what's going on around you, which I really like. Uh, with, the, with, the, with our dive boat uh, that um, has been on the previous video, as nice and as modern uh, as it is, uh, I feel sometimes the visibility is a little bit hard. When you kind of pilot the boats, you can't quite see as well as this one. <laughs> and now, uh, just the boat has uh, flew past us and uh, created a little bit of waves. Okay, I'm gonna carry on warming it up. Okay, now the engines are getting to getting to temperature around about 80 degrees, and we're gonna give it the throttle. Okay, the acceleration is really just picking up quite fast, nicely. We're going around about 3,000 RPM, and we are already over 30 knots. So the speed is not a problem on this boat. Now it revs, it says it should rev around up to 4,000 RPM, obviously we're not going to try that, but uh, we are nowhere anywhere close to the limiter. Ok, 
Okay, got us just going to try a little bit of a 180 here. Just the maneuverability. Woohoo! My God. Obviously it's a really calm day today, it's a little bit cloudy and uh, a little bit rainy but uh, very calm in terms of uh, wind, so um, obviously we are really solid, um, really stable, engine temperatures are good, we're just passing under the, uh, this bridge, um, we actually, one of us going to jump up on the bridge and get some, uh, get some cool uh, flyby footage shortly, so uh, we're going we're gonna to plan that somehow. Just come up on the bridge. We're going to do a little bit of a flyby uh, attempt. Radu is just. Uh, Over there. Sorry, Radu, what did you say? I started the GoPro as well at this point, right? Yes, sir. Uh, just started. So, yeah, we just. Uh, Trying to do a flyby uh, scene, um, but there's a little bit of a traffic going on, so we're just uh, standing by for it to clear down. Okay, my friend, one, two, three, go. Okay, so I've just come back on board and uh, I thought it'd be a little bit fun to uh, maybe do a bit of a challenge. Um, we are gonna go from a complete stop to 30 knots and we're both gonna have a go. I think we should both do two tries each uh, to see who can get the, the best time to basically get the boat from zero to 30 knots as quick as possible. Uh, and we're gonna use uh, Radu's uh, Seiko. Do you wanna show that off? <laughs> This is not a Seiko uh, uh, commercial, but uh, we do love our Seikos. So we're going to use this uh, chronograph to time and uh, see uh, who can get it the, up to 30 knots the fastest. Right. So yeah, let's get to it. Tomorrow is 17th of May, National Day, so everybody's free, is having a long weekend and uh, yeah. stop, yeah. Hang on, complete stop. Complete stop, that's not cheat there. Three knots. Okay, I'll do the count, yeah? There you go, let's stop it. Okay. It's just the waves, it's just waves now. <laughs> now we're doing seven knots in reverse. There you go. Okay. Now stopping. On my count. Right. One, two, three, action. Same thing, 16. 16, bang on, huh? Yes. So, okay, so Radu managed 16 this. seconds on both runs. Oh, we're gonna focus this. Let's yeah, see. You press yeah. that. Press the button. There we go. All right, 16 seconds right there. Let's uh, focus in. All right, 16 seconds right there. Let's see what Puya can do. Okay. On your account, eh? Hang God, I'm just gonna straighten it up a bit. Okay, I'm All ready right. when you are. Ready when you are. Three, two, one, go. Come on, baby. There we go. Fifteen, ah, oh, fourteen. 
Okay, now I forgot to mention that the boat has actually been built by a company called Huckelberg that they specialize in uh, these type of boats, dive, dive boats, ROV, rescue um, boats. Um, they are based in Norway. Um, so yeah, we've, uh, we've, we've enjoyed driving this boat so far. Um, it is very fast and comfortable and it allows us to cover a, a wide range of uh, um, areas of the fjords that uh, we carry out our tasks. Uh, I've hoped you enjoyed watching this video. If you'd like to uh, see any more of our uh, uh, boat reviews, um, just comment down below. Uh, and thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.